So my wife called earlier and she said, do you ever get a, like a shooting pain across your body as if someone was, had a voodoo doll of you and they're, they're like stabbing it? I said, no. She said, how about now? Welcome to Shave and Butcher for a shave. I had such a successful shave two days ago, which was the last time I shaved. So I was kind of thinking, I am using the same stuff once again. The palm olive stick, which I haven't used in a long time, was sent to me by Scott, Scott Owl from Sheffield. That's what it looks like. Oh, we're doing the lock thing, hang on. Maybe. Doesn't smell much, but it is what it is. It's cheap. And the Vec Sexto Blade. Vec Sexto Blade with uh, Kismet Blades on loan from Matti Lindo. So that's what we're doing. So we're wetting the face. Warming up the brush a little bit. Brush is a two band badger. You've seen it before. It's made by Jeff Anderson, GA7. Um, yeah, oh yeah. And it's, uh, it's a stick, so you rub it on your face. I kind of forgot. I haven't been using a lot of sticks lately. It's, uh, so it's a bit un unfamiliar. It's not really a skill, it's just. You want to make sure you get enough soap on. I got a little bit on the much side before the last time I used it, but it was it was okay. Better that than too little, right? Just a matter of how much time you spend working it into a usable lather and how much water you have to add. I think that's enough. Or a lot, maybe. Let's see, with the brush again. So, yesterday I did. I say she called on the phone, my wife. I hope I did. Otherwise, the, the joke doesn't work. Yeah, I probably messed that up. <laughs> so he's not funny anymore. <laughs> I stopped watching. Howie57 says he only stops by for the videos. I don't think it was a compliment. Although he did like the joke. Okay, so a bit of, I was going to say something, I can't remember. A bit of moisture in the brush. So this is one of those that will, if it's too dry, it's just poo dry, but you, you get it into a cakey consistency after a while. You know, this is a cheap freaking soap. But this stuff looks like artisan. It really does. Do you remember the, the palm olive stick crisis? Was it a year ago or something? Whether we're gonna stop making them and people were chasing them and they were all gone and then Turns out they were all with flash boredom in the south valleys of Wales. He had hundreds. So, so went to all those shops in London and tried to find one. Can you remember? And I didn't. But then Scott someone told me from Sheffield, so it was all right. And now <clears throat> you can find them in the in my supermarket. No toilet paper, but they're shitloads of palm olive stick 
Now there is toilet paper. Actually, Sweden isn't isn't too bad. We have what we feel is a sensible approach to to the whole circus. So we closed universities and school, and we're not allowed to gather in more than 500 people. Those are basically the only formal changes that are made, and then we encourage people to stay at home if they have symptoms, and especially if they're part of a risk group. And that's about it, and we'll see how it works. But most other countries have just shut everything down. Which is maybe wise. We'll, we'll we'll see. You know, you never know. Well, you will know eventually, but we don't know right now. But that's the Swedish approach. And there was a bit of um, you know toilet paper. No, nah, not toilet paper. But pasta was hoarded a bit. And um, instant mashed potato. <laughs> no one eats that regularly, or not a lot of people. I think. But now, oh, gotta have instant mashed potato. <laughs> so it was all gone. It was very funny. But it's, it's back in. So supermarkets are actually looking just fine and they're full with people. But yeah, I was, that's what I was going to say. I was talking to my pizza man, a pizza maker, who is a, he's a very funny guy. He's, he's genuinely a comedian. To bring him on the channel. So, so, so how are you doing? Yeah, it's fine. Working from home. Okay. Yeah, how is that? Uh, it's okay. And then I did my usual. Well, yeah, but my wife's working at home too, and you know she makes up uh, all these chores. She said, oh, "That's great. You're home. We, we can do that and mend that and glue that and put that up." And you know, I'm sure like a lot of guys are saying right now. And, uh, and I said, yeah, it's pretty tough, you know, pretty tough. And then he just leaned over and said, better have coronavirus. <laughs> Straight face and just looked away. Okay, I, I, I'm not giving, I'm not giving him, doing him justice. It was, it was quite funny. Yeah, and it's, uh, it, it isn't coronavirus. I was being a populistic no bed in the latest video saying why do people call it COVID-19 why not corona etc and my comment apart from being a uh, messing around was that from a marketing point of view corona virus virus is pretty snappy but then Anders Hedström commented that uh, you know, he, apologized. he said great stuff, apologized for being Wow, that's good. Not as thick as I had it last time, but last time it was a bit too dry. I think that's bloody good. Uh, he said, I, uh, sorry, but I work in biotech and um, you know, coronavirus, you, you've had coronavirus many times because that's a type of virus. He said it's the, the, the common flu is a coronavirus. And this virus is actually called Vec Sextoblade. It's actually called um, SARS CoV 2. That's the virus. And the disease it causes, the disease caused by the virus, is called coronavirus disease from. 2019, COVID-19, coronavirus disease 19. So, got me unders. And, and that's that. This thing, you, you can shave, I'm gonna cut myself after, right after I say this, but you can shave without paying much attention to what you do. And it's so smooth. might be the smoothest. It's a simple, stupid little thing, patented in 1919. And
and it's so good it's ridiculous ridiculous um, uh -huh. so COVID -19. yeah uh, I had a, a, a train of thoughts and speaking of being corrected well, corrected is not the word but getting additional information from the very clever very well educated viewers that I have much more than myself and thank you for for that um, it turns out ah, I forgot to check your name but I know you okay sorry I got a comment from a viewer and I apologize for for not remembering the name that my expression which I thought was Swedish when I very stupidly God, I'm losing my marble. Yeah, when I said, uh, well, doesn't matter, but I used the expression throwing pearls for swine. Which I thought was maybe a Swedish expression. But it turns out it is not, and of course a lot of you knew this. It is from the Bible, from Matthew 7, I think. So, thank you. Thank you for checking that out and correcting. Well, not correcting, but... So... I haven't picked up the book and checked the con context. Maybe I should, actually, I should. So many expressions, so many proverbs come from the Bible. And I presume other religious text as well. Ah, it's cray cray this. And you know, the soap, it's good. It's slick, not the most phenomenal post shave, but it is slick. But that's another thing with this. It doesn't matter what soap you have. You don't even need a slick soap because the shave is slick anyway. This just happened to be pretty okay. And um, I don't know the price, Chris, I am CDB, but it would be a quadruple thumbs up on your chart. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say I pay $5 and I think in the UK you pay two, 250 pounds, so, but no more than $5. And this is how many grams? 50 grams, whatever that is in ounce. Ounce is like a volume measurement. Then you have flour fluid, flour, something ounce and then it's weight uh, fluid has to be volume uh, okay it's non-metric nonsense what is it all right the pass number two so i'm taking my time um then you have some crazy guys like drew and Matti and Dave Card, who shave in under three minutes. Silly boys. So Matti did it. Dave, Dave Card did it. So Drew, I haven't seen you do it. You started the whole thing. You gotta do it. You gotta practice, man. So that's a three pass shave with the straight tracer in. Look at those guys. I was so happy I nailed at 10 0, zero a two pass. <laughs> I was really hurrying up. Though that included making a lather. These guys start counting from when they're ready, lather, 
touches the face. So we really are silly to hurry because it's the opposite of what we want to achieve. So you boys are silly. Still, it is impressive. You know, shaving three, four minutes. Wild. Oh, I have a funny thing I need to show you. If I remember, I'll try and remember. Now I remember something I forgot to do. Okay. Shave cave move that I forgot. It's stupid good. Huh. I think this is. My third use on the blade. So I don't know how many shaves you get. I easily got 10 shaves out of the Feather Professional in the um, Artist Club. I probably can't get more. I just haven't done number 11. Yeah, where am I? Yep. So I, I suspect I, I get 10 out of a Kismet blade too. I think Matti dropped them once, or he's dropped something anyway, um, and extended it even further. Or was it a DE blade? I can't remember. Those boys do such crazy stuff. It's it's a rather pleasant scent. It's not a strong one. Really can't describe it. It's interesting because it's a scent that goes very well with Creed's Green Irish Tweed. So it's fancy stuff. Uh, ah. God, I'm scatterbrained. So last week, over a billion people stayed at home. You know, people that would usually not be at home. So this week it's probably even more. It's mental. Mental. And it can't go on, really. You can't, I'm sorry, but you cannot have a lockdown and an economy that doesn't work for for a very long time you know it's people's lives people's livelihoods people's companies etc so but at the same time you know you want to want to make sure that people that do get sick from this virus and from other illnesses get the health care they deserve and you want to make sure old people and people in risk groups like asthmatics and so forth um, that they um, don't get the virus or the disease granted but there has to be a conversation quite soon about how do you how do you achieve both how do you not make every business in the world go bankrupt while at the same time you de-risk you know the risks there has to be a way. There will be compromises, which aren't good in this case, but there, you can't just have everything locked down for, a, for a forever. All right, now there's no plan, it seems. We're just shutting it down, and we'll see how it goes. And that's, I get it, but okay. Excellent. 
That's old, it's not new, promise. Shit, you can go over it several times as well without getting much of irritation. Excellent. Bloody excellent. That's old too. Honest, that's from yesterday, I promise. Or is it? No, actually, two days ago. But it's the exact same spots. I think it's old. Let's, let's call it, let's call it old. Brilliant, very good. So I'll rinse and then I'll do the thing, because I, I do remember. Quite funny. Uppsala. Oh, I got a bit too much. Put some more on my head. Put quite a lot on the head. It's a good aftershave. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, manage this. And this is a little bit disgusting, so if and it's quite childish, so if you don't want that, just turn off, I won't be offended. Um, I really hope my wife doesn't watch this, she usually doesn't. Okay, so there's sort of a, um, so this is something I saw on the internet, and it was an older man from Yorkshire who did it, so you should really do it in a Yorkshire accent, it makes it much better, but I can't do a Yorkshire accent. So. So he was saying, you know, all this toilet paper crisis, that's ridiculous. I'm going to show you how you use toilet paper in the 30s. So you take a piece of toilet paper. You, you may have seen this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So you fold it. And you fold it again. So it's like this. And then you tear off the top, the tip. And, and you save that, because that's important. And then you unfold and you put your put your finger in and you use that to scoop out the, the shit and then you wipe off your finger and you take the the little piece the little tip to clean the nail so there you go all you people who've got a shortage of toilet paper this is how you make it last longer <sighs> Fun and educational. That's that's what we that's what we aim at. Thank you for watching so much. I do apologize. See you soon. Stay sharp.